Y'all not sleeping on the Selena series, right? Right? You watched it, right? <laughs> Go watch it. my channel is tyra here with another struggle review here to discuss the selena series available right now on netflix i i, I was telling my bumper got taken off by selena's <laughs> now this series especially last season it didn't get the best feedback right away because so many people were focused on the aesthetics on the show and the lead actress looking like Selena that they didn't really give this series a chance. Now, before I get into why if you are a fan, you should watch this series and why if you aren't a fan, you should still watch this series because it has so much to offer. I need you guys to drop down and subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'm going to give you guys a moment to do that and then we're going to come back and discuss all things Selena's. hopefully subscribe to see more of me let's get into this series now as i said and you know my previous review for last season <laughs> i am a texas native and selena is everything here like i can't even fathom what i'm finding out now like people you know hella people don't even know you know about selena but she is so big that you know her being a tijano latin american mexican slash slash artist see she transcended you know beyond that and became you know so evident in other genres of music you know other races she was just so big and so beautiful and such a bright spirit that we warrant things like this series now getting into the series before we you know dive in i just want to speak on a few things that i really liked about the show now the main thing i liked about this show is when you think of selena at this point with her dying you know at such a young age and just her music and her image you think of you know perfection there's almost like a halo around her at this point the best thing that this series did for me especially the second part it humanized her so much and just made her a regular person you see so much of her spirit and you know how normal and girly and insecure and you know biased she was in certain areas like it touched on so many of those things just for us to know that she, you know, she was just a woman. She was just a, you know, a person like everybody else. There isn't, you know, some eminent being, angelic, you know, thing happening. She was just Selena and that was beautiful to see. And we got to see, you know, her at her best moments, but also, you know, some of her worst. But with this being a PG series, it, it, it doesn't dive too much in. I really like the fact that even though this is a PG series, it resonates, you know, with all ages, all dramas. I didn't get bored. I didn't feel like, oh, this is a little childish. Oh, they're, you know, going so out of their way not to be risky. We're not really getting anything from the series. Oh, I'm really bored. No, I was still very invested, still very interested. They still managed to get a lot of emotions out of the audience, and, you know, key points of, of Selena's uh, life and attitudes towards the, you know, end of her life. Still PG though, still can sit and watch it with your kids. Awesome. I also like that here we touch on what we touched on last season, which is all of her music. So much of her music is here. I don't mean, you know, little snippets of the music. Don't you love when you get series and movies and they get licensed to, you know, use the music from the family? Isn't that awesome when you can hear the artist's real music, their real songs being sung by them? It was so great here. The music, like... I love that, you know, all the music, most of the music here is in Spanish and they, you know, translated at the bottom for you. And I'm telling you because I was like, oh, that's what she's been saying this whole time <laughs> for us non-Spanish speaking people. I was like, oh, that, that makes us, oh, bitty, bitty, oh, the heart, oh, okay, oh, girl, that is so cute. And it, it 
makes so much sense now. We get to see, you know, not only hear those songs, but we get to, you know, go back and see how they were created. You know, her brother's writing process, as well as Selena's writing process and her contributing the songs. And, you know, how talented uh, her family was, you know, them having a knack, an ear for music. That was really great here. Speaking of the family last season this season also i love the family bond if you don't know anything else about selena you know that her family loved her just to see her you know her relationship with chris her relationship with uh <clears throat> with her sister her brother her mom her father her fans you know she loved her fans all of that you just get so much of that you get so much here and so much time with her here that you just can't get in the selena movie because i was one of those people going in like we already seen j-lo give her best performance that she's ever given in the movie, looking like Selena. What are you going to give us here that we didn't see before? Like, I'm not here for this. She don't even look like Selena. No, I am so glad I let go of those biases uh, and watch season one as well as this series because it was so awesome. And now that we got through that, let's get into the show. Now, getting into the show, we immediately pick up where we left off, you know, with Abraham going off and putting Chris off that bus, honey. We see so much growth in the group at this point because leading up from the past season, you know, they had been performing since they were small children, but they had yet to get that really big, you know, borderline international hit to really push them over and push Shalita, Shalina, Selena further into stardom. But we finally get that with, come on, la floor, come on, don't make me sing, <clears throat> not right now. <laughs> we finally get that song. And they're blossoming as a group, you know, financially. We have hits. They got a new tour bus, you know. They're, you know, blossoming in so many ways. And, you know, it's such a big moment for the group and for the family. But then you have Selena here who couldn't be more sadder because she is not with Chris. And the majority of, you know, that first, like, two episodes, it just deals with Selena not being able to have a life outside of music and i just was like like damn why <laughs> they just the whole family associated you know her relationship with chris with the ending of selena's ninos dinos like no we have suzette she's able to you know have a relationship and still maintain to be in the band and then you have you know the brother he's you know able to have his whole wife and children be in the band. You have Abraham. He has his wife, her mom. He, she has, everybody has their own thing. Selena wants to, you know, not only have a relationship, but she, you know, she wants to grow. She gets an apartment, you know, to create a studio. But we all knew what that apartment was for. <laughs> like, I'm trying, I'm trying to see Chris. <laughs> but, you know, she wants to blossom in other ways and not just be the lead singer. She has only been the lead singer of this band since she was a very small child. And it's like, you know, Selena is older at this point. She's, uh, <clears throat> by the time we get there, we are in uh, 1990, 1993. And at this point, she's blossoming, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old. What you guys want from me is not what I want for myself anymore. I want to be with Chris. And it was just like, damn, just let her be with Chris. Lord. I love Selena's family, but every time that they like held that over her head, like, oh, you're going to like ruin everything. Dad's going to cancel the band. And da -da -da. I was like, girl, just leave. <laughs> I'm all for your family, but girl, there is no Selena's dinos without Selena. Girl, just go like quit holding that over her head. Ah, man, you know, just like a little pinch of me, a little pinch of salt, wanted this to be a rated R series. Because, honey, I just feel like Abraham was with the shits and we didn't get to see all that. <laughs> you know, the family had creative control, but it just was so, everything was just so dominating on her. And it just seemed like for so long, she just never had a space just to be herself and make her own decisions without putting everybody else first. Let her see, Chris. Damn. So fed up and, you know, everybody in her ear, like, y'all didn't see my face when Suzette told Selena, oh, he's just a boy. Like, there will be other boys. Like, just date. Like, y'all just want her to date around. Like, if she found someone and that's her someone, like, let, let the girl, she's 20 years old, ain't even having a damn relationship yet. Let her breathe. Back up off of her. <laughs> It gets so bad that after we learn that her, her and Chris have been, you know, kind of sneaking around and Chris is not for it, they end up just, you know what, let's just elope now. 
about that whole situation. I didn't know how I felt about that. Selena was very young and she did, you know, care and love Chris, but it was just, you know, a bit much just to see her have to kind of resort, resort to eloping and then being married just for the family, especially Abraham, to accept their relationship. Like, ugh, we got to go through all this. Like, I uh, feel, you know, deep in my heart that he was the person for her and it wasn't just, you know, some farce of a marriage, but still that's, you know, a critical way to get married. But at that point in the series, I was kind of comparing it to the first series because we had, you know, questionable wig choices and outfit choices. Now, I am not totally sure, but I felt like prior to the first season that they kind of tried to round Selena out, uh physically and it just seemed like they tried to give sis a little booty and a couple of hips and maybe they put a little padding in them jeans i might have just been looking too hard but maybe that was just me but yeah the costuming was not as um on point or the wig choices as last season i was like what's going on with the detail like i could see the they like, just pluck that lace a little little bit more give the give that part a little bit more definition costume crew makeup crew fix her fix it selena was gorgeous uh, <laughs> after we get, you know, through with that and me getting past that, we get into, um, her and Chris not even being able to enjoy and kind of bask in, you know, them eloping and figuring out how to tell the family because it's already been announced on the radio. And Selena, you know, still shaking and moving like she's a normal person. Like, girl, you a whole Tejano superstar. Somebody's going to see you. You went and got married. They told somebody. <laughs> And I just, uh, I really hated to see uh, Abraham resort to, oh, he's going to break up the band. He's going to ruin everything. He's going to make her stop singing. I know what this is. Why would he do that? What? Ugh, like, her family was cute and all, but like, I was like, ugh. It was so great to get ugh for the family from a PG series because they was like, they had me kind of hot. It's like, get off her back. Now, apart from Selena in the series, which is why I love the series, because we touch on the Selena movie only touched on Selena. Here, especially in season two, we touch on A.B. and Suzette's life, her sister and her brother. And we really get into them also trying to process having relationships with a boyfriend or a husband or a wife with children and still maintaining being in a band. Now, Abraham was about work and, you know, we got these tours. We building studios. Like, they had their whole, whole studio. Like, they were on the go all the time so it was very hard to maintain those things and you see you know the strife with that and you also get a lot into you know ab's character and him feeling a lot we saw a lot of it last season but here it's always pressure on him to you know continue to write these hits and write these songs and he just feels like he never has enough time to breathe and you also see how serious uh ab takes his craft like i learned so much with this series because i didn't even know her brother wrote you know most of her material like that was incredible but he you know he was hands on hands on on everything and he just wanted the group to recognize you know even though selena is the main one you know the breadwinner the people that they come to see they also come to hear my songs and i'm writing these songs give me some space and some room to create and also give me some praise what's good now we also spend a lot of time showing selena being ahead of her time and wanting to be an all-around superstar artist and wanting to be in all types of fields. This was not a big thing, you know, at the time, but it's just so incredible to see her have a flair for things like, you know, salons and lipstick and, you know, nail designs and, you know, uh, <clears throat> a taste, you know, for fabrics and rhinestones and costumes and creating things. And all of these avenues she wanted to take, you know, having a boutique and a salon. And like, you know, I, I don't want to just be a singer. I have other ideas, other things I wanted to do that she just wanted to do. But now we see those, you know, used as, you know, other avenues for any artist. Everybody has a cologne, a uh, clothing line, you know, like Fenty and all those things. Like, that's just, you know, it's like, why wouldn't you have those things now? But it's just so strange to hear... Um, her uh say that out of her own mouth this is not you know some marketing coming up with these for her it's just like no I want to do those things so you spend a lot of time with her you know trying to create a boutique trying to create a salon trying to explain to her family I am more than just this I have not to say that uh being a singer was uh well no you can say that them you know 
singing and beating the band was placed on them because you see in the first season that abraham was very hey play this instrument you will get it go, go practice like <laughs> this wasn't just she did love to sing but he saw that you know her voice was you know not your average kid voice and he really honed that in and tried to you know create a band around her but her first interest and her first love that you see all the way from the past season was design and a flair to create and clothes and costumes and those things. So it's really great to see here her, you know, flair for fashion, her creating her boutique and the whole runway shows and and how fashion forward she is. Everything just look really right now. And it's just like, oh, it's like, oh. We go, we ain't gonna break down now. We can't break down to the end. Y'all chill, chill. So after the first half of the series and us, you know, creating, you know, music and growing with Selena and the popularity and uh, bulk of the series is harbored on um, <clears throat> the family wanting Selena to keep her marriage to Chris a secret. You know, she they thought it would affect the fans and, you know, finances and all those things. And they didn't want to, you know, alienate the audience especially the male fans but you see her bypass that and go ahead and do what she wanted to do you see her coming you know come more into her womanhood and kind of decide to make decisions for herself as far as what she wants to do and what she wants to be and it was it was incredible to watch and we also get into Yolanda Yolanda's character you know Selena Shooter and I love even with this being a PG series, there's always like a sense of like looming death around the series. And we know it's coming and we're, we're just there for the ride. We, we know it's coming. We know the death is coming. But just to be along for the ride and see her, it wasn't, it didn't feel tragic just to see her growth until it actually came. And we um, basically spend three three to four years with her at that point of the series and we see her you know come in and be introduced and because selena has, has taken so taken on so much at this point with the salon and the touring and all these things that she's trying to do all these different avenues you see this person coming and the family putting her on as you know help and we met her a little bit last season but I really like that even though there was a looming sense of, you know, it's it's going to happen in the series and we see her, they didn't uh, instantly give us, you know, hatred for Yolanda, which I think would have really impacted the series heavily because we do have, you know, sparse moments with her throughout the series. If each one of them were, you know, just so uh, thrilled, it would have been like, oh, we also get a lot into the type of character that Yolanda is and just really see how much of a super fan that she is and it's kind of you know really you know psychotic and like you're a fanatic you're not a fan you're a fanatic like once you you know see her finally talk to her and we see you know that room with everything selena in it and it's this whole shrine like situation you see that for yolanda it was more of an, an obsession just you know not some random person that they hired and she really you know got into selena and wanted to be her friend like no she was obsessed with selena way prior before she ever met her so this was something you know inside of her way before any boutique any shooting and we got to kind of grow with her and see things intensify for yolanda also but they didn't do it to the point that we just wanted to you know immediately punch her in the face i mean i still wanted to punch her in the face but not immediately we also get into a lot of things that humanize Selena. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm so stuffy. <laughs> we get into things like her relationship with Chris and her working so much, how that put a strain on them. Like we only see the happiest part of their lives, you know, the pictures, the family portraits, but just to see that, you know, her and Chris had problems. Like it was just uh, a lot of Chris trying to find his way in her life and bring her out of treating him like you know a side situation like oh you're here to you know hold my bag or accompany to me like no you could have this uh career I'm Chris I'm your husband I'm a totally different thing we also dealt with Chris trying to find his own avenues in his own space outside of just being Selena's husband because as you know you know he's a musician he's a guitarist and this whole thing and him creating like I need you to take interest in my creations and what I'm trying to do the same way I support you on stage and in our marriage and at these meetings like 
I'm here, girl. So it was nice to see, you know, that friction there. We also get into, you know, um, Suzette's growth, her marriage, them, that joint uh, photo shoot for their, uh, <clears throat> them getting married. That was a really beautiful moment. I loved it. And we, we just get more into that family dynamic. And also, I like that we got more from Selena's mom. I didn't think we got a whole lot from her last season. But you see her stepping up a little bit more to voice her opinion. To, you know, tell Abraham, you know, let your children go and grow. Just like with that whole situation. Like, I did not like that situation of him kind of forcing her to move next door and giving her that story. I was like... If she don't want to move in there, Abraham, she don't have to move in there. Like, give this baby some space, Lord. And there was this whole, like, oh, this story, you know, I had said, you know, when I could provide and, you know, I couldn't give you this and we were sleeping on the floor and this is this house. I was like, don't be trying to, you know, spread this cheese on her cracker like this. And, you know, but, you know, Chris, like, I don't need no more problems. Let's just move into the house. And we also have A.B. staying in the house. And it's like, <laughs> girl. When you say, like, keep it in the family, Abraham was trying to keep it all in the family. I need all my children under my eye. But it's um, it's also commendable because you know how ruthless the music business can be. So even though Abraham was all those things, this series, along with Selena, especially Abraham, because I spoke of it in my last review, that movie, Selena, it really, you know, like, Abraham was like, rah, rah. <laughs> It's Alina's, you know, it's that bra, it's that boosty. Like, it was just so, uh, it was like, ugh. <laughs> but this makes him seem, you know, not as overbearing and really, you know, lighthearted in her father. And it also helps, you know, with his relationship with Chris and making it clear, you know, I didn't like you in the beginning, but, you know, I like you now. We have a mutual love for each other just for Selena, which was awesome. And we also get into the stress on Selena having to cross over and you know not leave her family behind but the positions in the band changed or no it's no it's just you know selena like whitney whitney houston it's just selena now beyonce it's just selena now there will be no selena's dinos they will not be on stage but they you know the band will still be there but your um your music and things like that that's going to change your writers and the best thing that this series could have ever gave me was that I really don't think that Selena was built to be a superstar. Not to say that she didn't have the talent or, you know, that that stardom off because it's there like she was a star. But just where she was mentally and how, you know, approachable she wanted to be from, you know, her friends. You see her for so long, like they just live on the street and you have, you know, random people stopping like, yeah, can we get a picture? You know, people just showing up to her house. She's always there signing autographs. She loved her fans. She's always there for a picture. She's always, you know, she was always, you know, she didn't want to be that untouchable person. And for you to be at that level of stardom, your whole life has to change. Just like, you know, with her maybe having to leave her family and be alone. Like she was not built for those things. She's always been, you know, amongst her family and everything was changing. I just didn't see that, you know, fitting fitting her and I just feel like the series gave us a lot of light into what it is to be that go from being you know small time or you know being you know local and being that big I just don't think that that was really you know what she wanted and we see a lot of that with uh you know her missing meetings and being forgetful and not we see you know she was never on time for anything it just didn't seem like her bag she wanted you know the you know the glory the songs and you know those just those images of what she thought a superstar was. But when it's just like, well, wait, I have to change this. Y'all don't like my voice. You want me to do voice? Like, you want, like, th this is not what I expected. And it just seems like her at her best was when she was grounded with her family and, you know, being able to touch her fans. Now, towards the end of the series, we really deal with Selena, you know, kind of trying to uh, deal with change in her life and her just really feeling like she was, you know, it was so much talk of, we don't know how much time we have. I really got to get these things done now. It was like there was a big rush for her. She was like, I could just feel it. Things are changing. There was like this looming thing around her. Not just because she was, you know, about to be a superstar and not have her family at bay all the time because, you know, this was, of course, a change in management. You have her sister, Suzette, saying, you know, I don't really want to, you know, drum anymore. We have to, you know, listen to new songs and new songwriters. It's not just A.B. 
And we also, you know, have our husband who's trying to do his own thing. But it was just something looming. You see her have nightmares of, you know, being on stage and her waking up and, you know, it's dark. And her just, um, just feeling like something is about to happen she's like i can feel it we need to do these things together you know suzette you're gonna you know go you know cake tasting or what i, I need to be there for that i want to be here for these things it just seemed like there was such a crunch and it's like she you know knew knew more of what was going on and you know something looming and something after her but once we have you know really great moments like her at the grammys you know humanizing her her feeling like you know i don't deserve to be here her and her sister being giggity like oh my god it was whitney houston like oh my god look at all these stars and her sister's like selena you are a star and it was such a special moment with her kind of saying you know you did it to your younger self but once we have really great moments like that the end of the series is really focused on you know catapulting her into you know stardom and her meeting with management you know hey take these things serious these things are about to happen her finding the right song for her and of course her finding dreaming for you and just everything that she ever wanted about to happen for her along with you know the boutique opening the salon all those things doing well everything she ever want you know she uh prepares prepares her relationship with chris and you know her family everything is so great and you have yolanda's ass i was like oh once we get there i did shed a little tear i did not expect because we knew it was coming and i was the whole crier for the selena movie i didn't expect it to be so impactful i did love the way it was shot and that's given us so much detail into that moment as to you know how deranged yolanda was you know the family investigating her and her lying you just get to see how delusional she was as a person like oh girl you crazy crazy <laughs> you see her you know her i just love i love that scene of abraham investigating and he's like no something's up i'm trying to protect my kids and he puts that whole damn file cabinet in his trunk like i can't open it here i'm gonna open it somewhere else and then really figuring out what's going on with her and you have you know selena um just feeling like you know she gravitated so much to Yolanda because you know as we saw from past season like she never really had a chance to have just friends it's always just been her and her family so she really was hurt to see um Yolanda do that situation with our fan club and extort money and all of that so once we get to the things actually happening and we see you know Yolanda calling her over saying you know she was attacked and Selena being the kind-hearted person she was taking her to the hospital when that whole you know entrance I was so glad that they I was like this is PG they're not going to show her shoot her <laughs> and we got the gist of it just with her entering the room and hearing that gunfire go off and we see how frantic her family was it was just it had me all emotional all over again like oh my goodness I even love the tidbits that they put in there you know with kind of introducing us to certain fans and towards the end we get to see how those fans same fans how those same fans felt when you know Yolanda took her life like oh you guys it was so good it was so good and then you know we don't just end off there we end off you know with saying how the family dealt with it you know uh you know three months later six months later a year later like it was it was so great and I was so glad I watched it and it really made it worth it and even though I didn't agree with, you know, minor things like that purple jacket and that little bang, child, it was wearing that look out. <laughs> even though I didn't agree with, you know, all the costume choices, uh, the aesthetic was there. A lot of like her in the whole purple situation when, you know, Selena finally perform performed at the Astrodome. It was great. The lead actress really did a great job bodying Selena and giving you some of that. It's not going to be perfect because Selena has her own charm that only Selena can have. JLo came close. This actress here, her lip singing was on point. It was so great. She got, you know, body movements down and did. You could tell she studied her and she really took took this serious. So it really adds so much to the series, even though, you know, I might, might not agree with hair and costume and things like that, you know, minor things. But I love the series overall. But you guys, that was my review for this show. I really enjoyed it. Please drop down and tell me what you thought about it. What was your favorite scenes? I've seen some people asking, like, is there going to be a season three? of like, I don't think so. Like, where would the show go from here? But, you know, drop down in the comments. Let's get the conversation started. If you have not watched this series, go freaking watch it. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.